All right, we're going to go on a little bus ride this morning. Joe on his cool streamlined bike. Me on my luxurious land yacht. <laughs> luxurious land yacht. Joe needs to get him some skinny jeans with his cool retro bike. No, that's why I draw the line right there, part. <laughs> Hey, Joe and I just made a ride out here to Pat's Bluff. This is a boat ramp. See way down there. There's the spillway. There you go. There you go. But anyway, Joe's little bike's running good. Like I said, we just got this uh, last week. It's a uh, 2007 uh, 250. GTS 250. Pretty cool little bike. Do a little review of it. Take your helmet off because you're going to my helmet's going to wind up on the ground, trust me. Cool little 250. Guy who uh, bought this from, he, he blackened it out. Put that sporty little uh, windshield on there. All oh, these stickers he's got, he's got on here. Neil Best Buy. Cool. So he blacked out that rear end also right there. Blacked that out. But a cool little bike. A little cool bike. Talk to what you're going to do with your tires. So these tires are little. We'll come back around here. You see these tires got a little wear on the back of them, so it's probably going to need some new tires. Yeah. But with the, you know, the way I am, the wheels have to match the trim. I see like trucks sometimes with like chrome bumpers and you know black rims. It's, it bothers me. So I'm probably gonna change out the wheels, get some black wheels, and put some new tires on it. So yeah, cool. that's what I'm gonna do so far. I might do other things later, but for the time being, whenever the time comes, that's what I plan yeah. on doing. That's a good start. That's a good start. Okay, on my bike, I'm kind of setting my bike up for touring. Okay, I've put the uh, back rack. Okay. Show them how that works, Joe. Okay, it goes down. It's got, it's got a spring on it, so it kind of has some, it's got some resistance. Okay. And also I have storage under the seat, of course, and then I put the front rack. It's the same way as the back one, just, you know, different, different design. Okay. The same and, company, I'm sure. Okay, and between this back rack and the front rack, this is made by Falco, which is like a, a, an Italian company, and they're a little cheaper. And also my crash bars are Falco. And my helmet, I mean, and my windshield is also Falco. Yeah, you see the symbol right here. Yeah. They're okay. Italian, and they're great. And uh, they're great part because, you know, Vespa parts are, are more expensive. But this front rack, this is actually the Vespa front rack. I had to pay a little bit more for it because the Falco hung from there. And then it had a, then it clamped on the bottom. And you had these ugly bars that went down there. And I just didn't want to like the way that looked. So I went with the uh, Vespa front rack. And everything else is all uh, Falco parts. And mine is a, a GTS uh, 300. It's a 2020, so it is a new bike. And uh, but uh, and we also got a 2006 150 LX at the house. That's gonna be our camping bike. We're gonna keep it looking all trashed out so nobody can steal it. <laughs> probably be posting a few videos later on about the camper and all that. Yeah, you good might have it on the back of that. About another dozen miles. Sure, where are we at? It's Sardis Lake Spillway. Oh, that's 
Catch some crappie. But when I was on the other, what was that earlier? When I pointed down into the lake, I was pointing at this dam area right here. This is the spillway of Sardis Lake. Place to come fish. This is about two and a half miles from my house. So we just about know. <laughs> it's a good place to come and sit sometimes. I'd like come up here and sit and watch folks fish.